We'll invite up Derek Shore from the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. The topic of Derek's research is designing biased agonists, medications without side effects. Hello, everyone. So today, I'm going to talk about the unprecedented therapeutic potential of biased agonists, which can be described as drugs that may have few, if any, side effects. The goal of this talk is to hopefully excite and inspire you about the future of drug design. However, I should warn you that some possible side effects of this talk may include unusual tiredness, confusion, and perhaps even slipping into a coma. <laughs> Actually, these are just a few of the possible side effects of the over-the-counter medication ibuprofen. Unfortunately, huge laundry list of side effects um, are something that we've come to expect from our medications. And sadly, these side effects greatly reduce our ability to treat pain and disease. So today, I am excited to describe some of my research, which involves using computer models, like we see on this slide, to design drugs with reduced side effects, with the goal of getting rid of side effects altogether. In our lab, we study proteins called receptors. And you can think of these receptors as little machines that enable cells to be able to communicate with each other. To stress the importance of receptors, I should mention that over 60% of current medications target receptors. My research involves a specific receptor called the CB1 receptor. And the CB1 receptor is the most common and important receptor in the human brain. Unfortunately, attempts to design drugs that target the CB1 receptor failed due to uh, serious side effects such as severe depression. One reason side effects occur is because these receptors are capable of causing many, many different cellular effects and current medications induce multiple, if not all, of these effects. So imagine that the receptor is your house, and that your house has many light switches. Current medications essentially turn on all of these light switches at the same time. This would not be ideal for houses, and it's certainly not ideal for neurons. Um, however, a biased agonist is a drug that only has one cellular effect, or in other words, only turns on one light switch. On this slide, you can see our computer model of the CB1 receptor. It consists of these ribbon and loop structures. But most importantly, you can see a compound that I've designed called PHR019 shown here in pink. And this is the first completely biased agonist of a receptor. The reason it is a biased agonist is because while we can see that it can partially insert into the receptor, it can't completely insert, and this prevents it from causing other types of signaling. So in other words, because PHR019 is just the right size, it only turns on one light switch. Ultimately, this may mean that PHRO19 is a compound or a drug with few, if any, side effects, potentially making it the parent compound for 21st century drug design. Thank you for your time. <laughs>